But when you're in your car, every turn you make and every street that you take, you might be watched. Now, you aren't being watched in person, but rather with cameras stationed all over the place. And 13 investigator reporter Joe Bartels now shows you who is using that video. Transportation agencies use them to monitor for traffic problems, and until recently, those cameras really weren't recorded or that data stored for any length of time. A Las Vegas company now records what those cameras capture. Everything from a plane crash to a freeway shooting suspect, even what led up to the tragic death of a one-year-old little boy. The question is, is it all part of a legal loophole? There are thousands of them, so many you may not even notice. At intersections, freeways and traffic lights and they're watching your every move good bad and tragic at the same time I'm telling her look, slow down you have my son in the car that was Cameron Hubbard Jones on July 13th speaking with 13 Action News about this crash that killed his one-year-old son Royce Jones the boy's mother Lauren Prescia was arrested for allegedly driving 121 miles per hour while under the influence before slamming into several cars at Lake Mead and Rampart on July 12th According to this police report, investigators relied on airbag crash data recorder on board the mother's vehicle for the speed calculations. Cameron told police he was following the mother's vehicle, headed to a custody exchange. He was at the scene, witnessed what happened, but not arrested on the spot. But police got a hold of this video recorded from a traffic camera showing Cameron's Mercedes-Benz keeping up with Prescia's small sedan just moments before the crash. The report cites the traffic camera video recorded by American bioengineers and noted it showed both were traveling more than 100 miles per hour just before the crash. Cameron was arrested just days later after the evidence came to light. All the computers on board likely would not have recorded any data that would have led to that arrest eventually. Uh, so the video was definitely a big help there that otherwise um, that probably wouldn't have happened. Michael Jorgensen is with American Bioengineers, which also runs national traffic video. The company recently started recording and storing traffic video feeds from the Nevada Department of Transportation. Take those feeds and record those. Uh, and initially that was done for research purposes and whatnot, but there's a there's a wide ranging amount of things that you can do with the videos. Recording crashes can help improve safety, road design, even help investigators with hit and runs and deciding who's at fault in a crash. Obviously it can provide pretty crucial information um, and help solve some mysteries, especially in those higher speed accidents. But it's more than traffic. Watch closely. This is video from a camera on I-15 south of the valley in 2018. It captured the final seconds as a single engine plane plunges from the sky and bursts into a fireball. The video, while dark, was incredibly helpful for crash investigators. With those smaller planes, when there's, that, that was a real small plane crash. Uh, with those smaller planes, there's oftentimes not a black box on it, not a lot of information. So the video to my understanding, the final report's not out yet, but it was a big help in being able to tell what the behavior of the plane was before the accident. The NTSB's preliminary report cites a traffic camera video showing the intact plane not on fire before the crash, but in a nosedive before it crashed and then caught fire. The pilot was killed and the final report has not yet been released, but some questions answered by the video, among other uses. Obviously, the traffic collisions so attorneys offices insurance companies and individuals have been able to get video of traffic collisions and sometimes some other random uh, events that happen on the roadway. Then there was this still unsolved case that rocked the valley just last year in August. Police called upon national traffic video to find a series of cameras capturing this mysterious white van as it drove on I-15 near Blue Diamond. Investigators say it was connected to a deadly road rage shooting. It is a pretty large undertaking, and there's a good reason that um, NDOT and other organizations around the country do not record everything because it is a massive undertaking. Uh, but we're willing to do it because the research that you can get from capturing hundreds of accidents is you can't really put a price tag on that, essentially. The live video is available to the public through websites NDOT provides, but this is the first known private company recording the cameras, which is raising concerns about Big Brother watching you and that video being used against you in court. A government agency can't use any kind of video or photographic uh, automated system to issue traffic citations. Uh, and they can't hire another company to do that either. They can't really end around around the law 
by paying somebody else to do that. Attorney Adam Ellis says as far as he sees, there's a loophole in Nevada law. Police can't issue traffic citations solely on the traffic camera video, but apparently can use the video to show other criminal conduct. I could certainly see that being one aspect of the, the criminal case and, and what, how a defense attorney would use that uh, in a sense to argue that the statute is actually, uh, there's a loophole, a big loophole, and the intent of the statute uh, is not being met by letting a third party do what the government can't. Ellis says the U.S. Supreme Court has found no one has a reasonable expectation of privacy in their vehicles while driving on a public road. The cameras are legal, but he says using them in a criminal case is a gray area. Uh, the Supreme Court of Nevada hasn't addressed the issue, uh, so that issue very well may make it up there and we may learn more in uh, a few years time. But at this point, there, it hasn't addressed the issue. National Traffic Video charges insurance companies and attorneys offices for this video. That's how they keep this operation funded. They also buy those servers to keep this information secure. They have plans to expand to California and Arizona soon. Joe Bartels, 13 Investigates.